I saw a really cool, brilliant post on social media a few days ago from a scout leader asking, is there a minimum amount of camps that we should be taking our young people away? And I thought, you know what? That's a question I've never thought about. I didn't know there was a minimum amount of nights that as scout leaders, we should be taking the young people away. And according to POR, there is. So my question to you as a scout leader is, what is that answer? What is the minimum amount of nights we should be taking our young people away? Whether that's squirrels, beavers, cubs, scouts, or explorers. What is that minimum amount of nights? And the answer is one. The minimum amount of nights Gilwell expects us to do is one night. So if you are panicking, if you're getting a bit paranoid and thinking, oh, you know, the district next door, the other scouts, they've been going camping five times a year and we've only been able to go twice a year, three times a year. Is that a problem? No. As long as you do more than one night, that's not one camp, it's one night. So for me, I realistically can do three camps maximum. I do one in April, uh, I do one um, in May bank holiday and then half term in October. I don't do a week summer camp. The reason is I can't because of work and annual leave. You know, I think I take up enough annual leave with my Fridays and Mondays when I go to camp. So to take a whole week off, uh, to take some scouts away when I could be on holiday with my family. That's my personal views. Whether it will be different when my my own personal children move up to scouts um, and I think differently, I don't know. But at the moment for me, that's what I can do. My other scout leaders, they all have different jobs. They work shifts. So it's about what you can commit to as a scout leader. Don't compare yourself. It would be brilliant to be camping every single weekend. Great. But then we've got to think about cost. There's a cost to camps, isn't it? You might be lucky and have, you know, woods at the back of your scout hut. No, I've had to drive here to pack our, our county camp, which is about half an hour away, 40 minutes. You might have this on your back doorstep, literally at the end of the road. So you don't have to pay for a camping fees. You might not have to hire a van. You might have your own van or a trailer or a dad or someone in your scout group has a van. So there's not a cost to that. But then we've got the cost of living. You know, food is expensive. Camping fees have gone up. And we all can't afford it. Families can't afford it. It would be great if you were charging five pound a camp at a weekend, but no. So scout leaders, don't compare yourself to the other group next door in your district or your county, or even your friends around the different parts of the UK. I have mates who camp once a month. That is their target. So they try and do 12, minimum camps a year. I can't do that for work reasons. And the most important thing is for me is family. You know, I've got to look after my family. They come first. So it was a really good question I saw on, on social media. What is the minimum amount of nights we should be taking our young people away? And once again, the answer is one night. If you do less than one night, there's a chance that your scout group or section will have to close. But there will be someone. But remember guys, make sure you have the correct permit. Make sure you have a, a permit, a nights away permit to go camping. Don't just think, you know what, let's go. And you don't have the right relevant permit. Scout this. thank you very much. I hope you are enjoying your time. Now the spring and the summer's here and it's dry and it's, it's meant to be warm, but it's absolutely freezing today here at Pagar uh, whilst I'm here at Beaver. Fun day activity and it's been really good. Yes, I did say that. I am with the Blue Ninjas and I'm having, shh, don't tell anyone. I'm having a great time with the Blue Ninjas, but that doesn't mean I'm going to become a Blue Ninja leader. Don't worry. Thank you very much, Scott Leaders. I'll see you next time here on Big Man in the Woods. Right, I'm going down the zip line. Ha <laughs> ha.